Hi, welcome to the show. Do you know the difference between a guairo, kalimba and a conga? In this second episode of 5 Minutes of Music, we're going to look at the most popular instruments that are found in the classroom and play a game to see how many of these instruments you can guess. So if you're new to music or want to brush up on your skills, put your feet up, get a cup of tea and welcome to 5 Minutes of Music. Musical instruments are classed into different families. So for example, some instruments like the trumpet and trombone are in the brass family. Some instruments like the oboe and clarinet are in the woodwind family. Guitars and violins are in the string family. Today, I'm going to show 17 instruments from the percussion family. They're defined as percussive instruments because you make the sound by either striking, scraping, rubbing or shaking the instruments. Each instrument's name will be covered for a couple of seconds before being revealed. So see how many you know and share in the comments which ones caught you out or if you got them all right. Okay, let's go. Here is the first one. Guairo, popular in Latin American music. Chime bars, similar to a glockenspiel, as it's made of metal, but each bar has its own case. Xylophone, it's a wooden instrument and it's a great instrument to demonstrate a scale going up and down in pitch. Glockenspiel, Children often mix this up with the xylophone, which is wooden, but the glockenspiel is metal, and again, with it being a tuned instrument, it's a good one to demonstrate high and low notes. Maracas. These are great to demonstrate and inspire the children to make their own shakers. They could use tins, bottles, beans and beads. Tambor. This is a small drum with a drum skin covering one side. It often gets mixed up with a tambourine, but the difference between this and a tambourine is that a tambourine has tiny cymbals on the side called zills. Castanets. Popular in Spanish music, usually played in pairs, one in each hand. Congas. These are large Cuban drums and are popular in rumba and some jazz music. Bongo drums. These Afro-Cuban drums are much smaller than the congas. They usually are in pairs with the larger drum being called the female and the smaller drum the male. Tabla and bayan. The small one is the tabla and the large drum is called the bayan. They're used in a lot of Indian devotional music. Finger piano or kalimba. This is a great little African instrument to have in your classroom collection if you haven't already got one. Wood blocks. These are wood blocks. The one with two sides is called a two-tone wood block, which has two different pitch notes, so it's another good instrument for talking about pitches high and low. It's also a great instrument to mimic the sound of a ticking clock. Cymbals. There are three types of cymbals. Clash cymbals, which are held and played in pairs. Suspended cymbals, that are put on a stand and hit, and the smaller finger symbols. Sleigh bells. These jingle bells are great to use when asking the children to describe stars, snowflakes, scenes of Christmas. Also, they can be used as part of Morris dancing.
a go-go. This is an African instrument with two bells of different pitches. Doll drum. This drum has a skin on both sides as opposed to the tambour that only has a drum skin on one side. So it can be strapped onto a person and hit on both sides, usually with a beater. It's popular in Bangra music. Triangle, a very popular instrument in classical music for hundreds of years. Here's a full list of all the instruments again. How did you do? Share in the comments below if you got them all right and tell us which ones caught you out. Feel free to tag in your friends to try the challenge and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!